coverage you can count on continues. This is News Channel 15's First News Weekend. A new kind of festival will be making its debut this summer in Fort Wayne, and its aim is to bring people together with a fun community event that will take over the streets of the city. That's exciting. And joining us in studio this morning to tell us all about Open Streets, we have Frank Suarez and Amy Hartzog. We're excited for you guys to be with us today. Thanks uh, there's, for having us. Well, you're welcome. There's a lot going on with Open Streets, but it's new to Fort Wayne. So can you guys just explain to us what is the concept of Open Streets? Go ahead. Sure. Uh, the concept uh, actually got its start back in uh, the 70s in Bogota, Colombia. And the idea is that you close down a set of streets and you invite people to that public space to use it for biking, walking, playing. So you're able to build community. Uh, people are able to see themselves biking and walking further and using that as a form of transportation and um, building community. So it's, it's really exciting. Yeah. And I know it's made its way around the U.S. Um, why Fort Wayne? You know, what do you think we'll take from it? Well, certainly um, in the Public Works Division, we're about transportation. And it's not just about motor vehicles. It's about pedestrian and bicycle infrastructure. Um, we've invested quite a bit over the years. Um, just in the last 10 years, 40 miles of new trail and 38 miles of new sidewalk. But it's not just the infrastructure. We've added bike lanes. We've added safety um, components like wider crossing lanes, the countdown signals that people see that help motorists know that somebody could be walking across. So we're trying to improve safety. This effort will draw attention to pedestrian and bicycle um, mode, of, mode of transportation in our community, and that's what we want more people to be aware of. This is connecting, as she was saying, the community. We're connecting five neighborhoods directly with the downtown central business district. We're also connecting to the Three Rivers Festival. And if you just walk across the river, we're connecting another four neighborhoods to this. So it real, really is a walkable event. Wow, that's really exciting. Now, Amy, you mentioned that this really came about in the 70s. Obviously, this is the first year in Fort Wayne. So what are some of the unique events that people can expect that come along with Open Streets? Well, we're really excited. We've had a lot of support and interest from the community with our development of programming. And we'll have BMX, skateboarding. The Derby Girls will be downtown. We've got music planned down by Calhoun Soup, Salads and Spirits and Neat, Neat, Neat Records. So it'll be a, a huge uh, music hub uh, inside and outside in the streets. We've got uh, Groove, a, a dance fitness class, salsa, pickleball, uh, wheelchair basketball. So many uh, free events and activities for um, people of all ages to enjoy. Pickleball, that is a blast from a the past. I, <laughs> I like that. Um, this is coinciding with Three Rivers Fest, correct? Can you explain how it's a part of that? Yeah, we're affiliated with Three Rivers Festival. Uh, we attach to the um, Art in the Park and Chalk Walk, which is a community favorite um, within the festival itself. So we're really fortunate that our route connects to it via Bar Street and Barrie. And um, we hope to uh, bring people to Art in the Park and Chalk Walk and also have those folks uh, check out our event. And real quick, uh, when, where? That, that sort of thing. It is July 9th from 11 to 3 and um, don't worry if you've got small children and don't think you can do the whole route. So you can do a portion of it. We also will have some transportation to get you back to the area where you started at if you need to. So it's really going to be a great opportunity for all ages. Yeah. yeah, that's good stuff. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, thank you guys for being with us this morning. Thanks. And Thanks. of course, all this information about Open Streets will be on Wayne.com a little later today.